Hi everyone, it's Miss Nikki Ann and it has been crazy and busy with my um, six-year-old finishing kindergarten last Wednesday and doctor appointments and um, so just wanted to do a, do an update. I've been watching um, everyone else's videos so I've been keeping abreast on that and um, trying to do more over at MD Junction and I want to thank Jan and also Sarah for coming by and supporting and um, Jan and I have been in a discussion within the forum um, in the section that I made for parents with dysautonomia and um, I think the discussion is really good and insightful because it's not often that we parents with dysautonomic, dysautonomic parents, I, don't, I can't even talk today, get a chance to connect with other parents with dysautonomia and about the different adjustments and things, little things we do um, to make it as parents. Um, like since we're all we're in our beds a lot and you know dinner, what do you do? You can't sit up right at the table. I have picnics. My son has a picnic on the floor next to my bed for his dinner time and just how we're not normal and how our kids adjust to our adjustments in our abnormal lives. So that's been cool. Um, what do I think? What else? Um, so yeah, I saw my rheumatologist last week and um, just the visit went well I was asked she's going on maternity leave and so I was basically asking her if she could do my script because I was really concerned um, about what the summer heat is doing to me even though now we're back to our average temperatures like it's 50 something right now and it'll be mid 70s today but that's even still too much for me and her concern was that if she goes on leave and she's a rheumatologist, she's not a dysautonomia specialist. Um, she, you know, but she's been treating me because I have an autoimmune component. So, um, uh, she didn't want to go on leave and let's say I go for my fluids and something happens and they call the practice and none of the other partners, she said they know nothing about dysautonomia. And, you know, that would just put everyone in a precarious situation but if she hadn't been going on leave she would have um, helped me out there that way um, but still you know um, she gave me she was she was supposed to book my IV session for Friday this past Friday so, um, something didn't go right and for whatever reason the infusion center infusion hospital is that's my six year old who's at school um, the infusion, no, I'm talking, hospitals booked last week and this week. The only spot they had for me is Friday. And I even spoke with my nurse there and, um, she was going to see if she could get me in as an emergency and kind of make an extra room for me since there's only six rooms and it just... Well, anyway, and also my rheumatologist was hesitant because I see the um, POTS specialist who's a cardiologist tomorrow. So she just kind of wants to get um, his knowledge on everything, what he has to say before um, we make um, any big changes before her maternity leave. And also I have my appointment with my neuro-ophthalmologist today and um so i'm looking forward to seeing him because he he's knowledgeable about he's jewish and he's knowledgeable about the um familial dysautonomia the jewish type and so um the jewish trait and so he knows a lot about it and it's just good you know to get in with him and be sure that my left eye is doing okay because I went blind in it in my left eye in June 1st 2006 woke up blind in my left eye and so he treats that um I'm trying to think and I have more I have an appointment booked for a two um 
one with my dysautonomia specialist who's a neurologist in Boston, but I'm going to cancel that appointment. I'm just for so many reasons. And um, I've just been booked with doctor appointments this week. But yesterday I had um, church visitors, um, one, two, three, like five, and the pastor came and we, we, had, we ate and just laughed and and um and he's also a childhood friend we're like two years apart in age so um yeah um so that just really it that visit and i don't know if it was hour and a half two hours i was so sick afterward and it's just like a reminder of how debilitating the illness can be the symptoms and something so simple as being at home they came to see me having visitors will affect you to where um, my mom had foot surgery and I've been trying to do for her. It's just, and this morning I was like, Mom, I'm so sick. She was like, oh, um, can we run to the store? I'm like, I'm, I have to save every ounce of energy I have for that two-hour appointment with my neuro-ophthalmologist today because it's a very long appointment. I've got to be upright for all of the tests and the machines and so I felt bad about that, that I'm supposed to be a helper and a two hour visit, you know, put me over the top and now I can't do um, what I need to do for her. Did you just leave my room with something? Bring your, is that your uncle's brush? His childhood brush? But I'm telling you, God, it was an alligator had a top part. This is my brother's. He's um, four years older than I am. So, what is he? He's 39. He had a brush and um, it broke yesterday. I let my son use it and um, if my brother finds out <laughs> that this thing is broken, he loved this brush. And I can see like marks on it. Like I think as a kid at one point I can remember biting on it on the other piece that's over there and this the bite marks are still on it. Now it's He's missing his tail. Put that down. We're gonna see if we can glue that back together. Cause he has a son. So maybe he wanted to give that brush to my nephew. Nope, it's broken. But I mean, it just, I think it's just from age. You know, 30, he's had it for, you know, 39 years, 40 years this year. No, no, don't glue it with that kind of glue. But this is not gonna, Elmer. School glue. Yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to use something more. Let me see that part. No. You can't glue it with that. Something will work out. Yes, I can. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Alright, so put the top on that. Alright, guys, we're gonna go now because this is turned into this is what happens when the kids are out of school. It's hard to make videos and stay focused. He's like doing something on the spinning. Don't go in my closet. Bye. Don't even know what I was talking about. I don't even know. Just kind of don't know. I have no idea where I ended like two minutes ago explaining something and now 